guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're testing out a brand new foundation and this foundation has been raved about here on YouTube to the point where I was like, okay, I know I don't need any more foundations, but I have this gift card from Christmas. I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. It is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Looks like this. This baby retails for $49. I got mine at Sephora and it comes in 33 colors, which is actually a lot of colors. I feel like that's quite a bit of like range there. And it goes all the way from light one to dark six. I don't know if you are familiar with NARS colors. I know I personally have never owned any NARS face products because typically their products lean towards the radiant or luminous or just all of their foundations have some sort of like like this one, sheer glow foundation, all day luminous, weightless foundation. Everything has pure radiant tinted moisturizer. Everything has like a glowy radiant title. <laughs> and I have oily skin, so I don't typically lean towards those types of foundations. This one is called Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, typical NARS. But everybody who talks about this says that it actually has kind of a more matte finish. And Casey Holmes, who has a very similar skin tone to mine, skin type to mine, not tone, type, um, said that she really likes it. So I was like, okay, I gotta try this. Just some background on the product for you. There is one fluid ounce in the bottle. Or the bottle is one fluid ounce. It is a glass bottle, I believe. Yes, a glass bottle. And there is a pump, that's always good. I bought mine online and I'm always super weary when I buy things online, like did I buy the right color? I bought the color Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc, which I believe is the second lightest cool toned color. Let me just take a look-see here. Yes, so there's one that's called Light One Oslo, O-S-L-O, fair with pink undertones, and then this one is light with pink undertones, light too. So if that gives you any ideas, I know a lot of you guys have the same skin color as me, so you like to know kind of what I bought. I'm hoping that works. Um, let's see, the box says, Meet NARS first long wear foundation that looks stronger, stays longer, that looks stronger, stays longer with skin's recognition pigments. What? Looks stronger, stays longer with skin recognition pigments for the truest color match and 16 hours of wear. Featuring NARS Skin Optimizing Complex, raspberry, apple, and watermelon extracts. Interesting. For smoother, healthier looking skin. Shake well, apply a small amount starting at the center of the face and blend outwards. All right. We're gonna test it out. This is my first wear test of the year and I already failed at doing a whole day. <laughs> so typically I like to do like I don't know, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. or something like that, so it's a full day wear test, but it is already like three o'clock. I'm getting a late start today. It's okay, it's the start of the new year. Okay, I'm gonna put a couple pumps. It is kind of on the liquidy side. I mean, it's pretty thick, but it's sliding down my hand, which is not a bad thing. And for those of you who have never seen my wear test videos before, I like to do half of my face with a beauty blender and then the other half with a sponge just so I can see which product blends it best. I also use very consistent primers every time just so I'm not introducing you know, too many variables. Um, so I used the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer in the Smoothing Formula and the Guerlain La Or, I think is what it's called. Those are two primers that I typically always use, so. I might have put a little bit too much on my nose. It's blending out very easily with this beauty blender. So far, I like it. 
So there's half of my face with the beauty blender. The color seems to be about right. It may be, it might be, oh my god, I can't talk. It might be a little bit on the light side, but that's okay. I would much rather my foundation be too light than too dark because you can always warm it up with bronzer and when it's too dark, you really can't do that. So the beauty blender side looks really, really nice. I'm gonna blend in the other side with my Artiste Oval 7? Yeah, Oval 7 brush. I can already tell, I think I like the Beauty Blender side a little bit better. Um, the Artiste brush just seems to kind of be like moving the product around and it's not sitting well. And it looks a little bit streaky, I mean it's not horrible. But the Beauty Blender side just seems to be a little bit more, like, seamless. I don't know. I tend to like the Beauty Blender more on most foundations, unless it's, like, a super, super liquid foundation, like the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. I almost always prefer a brush with that one because it's just, like, more liquidy, you know what I mean? So, there we go. Okay, so here's what one layer of the foundation looks like. I think it actually looks really, really well. It looks very weightless. I don't feel like I'm wearing foundation. I don't think it looks like I'm wearing foundation. It all looks very like seamless and blended. As far as coverage goes, I'm gonna turn this off really quick so you can kind of see what the coverage looks like. I'd say it's probably about a medium coverage. Um, you can definitely build it up to be more. But where I notice it most is like my nose. I don't know why, but I have a really big problem with foundations not sticking to my nose for some reason. I don't know if I like, if it's just oily or what is going on, but like, I don't know, you can see a little bit of redness on the tip of my nose in this area. And then on the side where I used the brush, it's a little bit more kind of red than this side. So I'm just gonna go in with another couple of pumps. These are little bitty pumps, by the way. And I always tend to put like way too much foundation on, but that is okay. I'm gonna drag it down my neck. Kind of pack on a little bit more color over here and then right on my nose. Okay, so here's an extreme close up for you guys so you can kind of see how it looks on my skin. I think it looks really good. I feel like it just looks very like smooth and natural and it don't feel like I'm wearing a big heavy foundation. I will say a lot of my favorite foundations right now are like those full long wear really heavy full coverage foundations which look beautiful but they just feel really heavy whereas this one just feels really light and really airy. It is a little bit kind of on the dewy side. I would say it's definitely not a matte foundation. It kind of looks a little bit like you just see that glow on my cheeks a little bit there, so we'll see. I am gonna set it with a powder just because I set almost everything with the powder. So I'm gonna use probably a translucent powder so we can see like how the color oxidizes and stuff. But this is what it looks like for now. I'm gonna go in and do the rest of my makeup and check back in with you guys. Right now, just for reference, it's 341. Um, so we can kinda see what it looks like a little bit over time, but... Yeah, um, and if you haven't watched my long um, wear test foundations before, my problem areas or the areas I like to look out for are my smile lines. I do not like when foundations melt into my smile lines and accentuate those. My chin line or hair and then a little bit around my nose. Those are the problem areas that I look out for. So we'll check in later and see how those areas look. Okay guys, so this is a really weird angle. I'm actually sitting on the floor and the lights are like well above me. So the lighting is a little bit bad, but I'm getting ready to film my 2017 favorites and I wanted to lay everything on the floor in front of me. And so anyways, I wanted to do a little bit of a check-in on the foundation to let you guys know how it's wearing. Ugh, I was gonna use this as a mirror and I totally forgot. There's no mirror in that palette. So looking at my face, oh gosh, and then this one has a little plastic thing. Oh my God, I'm a mess. Okay, found a mirror. Looking at my foundation, I think it looks really, really good. I will say 
it is a very creasy foundation, at least for me. So like, for example, when I was filling in my eyebrows, sometimes when I fill in my eyebrows, I get very expression-y and I kind of go like this to fill them in. Or like when I'm doing my eyeshadow, I lift my brow a little bit. I got little creases right here. This was before I set the foundation, by the way. Um, I got little creases right here. So that's just something like once I set the foundation, it was totally fine. But something to be aware of, I don't know if that's because of the luminosity factor or what, but it did not settle yet into my smile lines or around my nose or my chin line, which is like, oh my gosh, two thumbs up totally because those are my biggest like pain points. And it doesn't look oily, even in the slightest bit, it doesn't look oily. I think it looks very, very like nice and like radiant and... I think I'm having either a really good skin day or this foundation is definitely working really well. By the way, it is 527, so it's been, sorry, 26, ah, 5, oh my gosh, 526. So it's been about two hours since I put the foundation on and so far, so good. Okay guys, it is now 1118, so it's been almost eight hours since I put this on my face. In fact, it's probably a little bit more than eight hours, but like, you know, from the moment it went on my face, about eight hours since my last check-in, my first check-in. Oh my God, it is late. I'm never up this late. I'm usually asleep at like 830. So even the fact that I am awake this late is like, oh, what is going on? But um, yeah, anyways, the foundation looks so good, you guys, so good. I mean, I was just looking at myself in the mirror. I'm in my bathroom right now. If you can't tell, the lighting is a little bit yellow. That's why. If I, if I turn off the ring light, you can see how yellow it really is. Yeah, bathroom lighting is awful. But I was looking at my face in the mirror, and it looks so good, you guys. Like, this is probably one of the best foundations I think I've ever worn. Um, I have no shine at all poking through. I'm just going to, I don't have a mirror right in front of me. I'm going to peek over real quick. Yeah, no shine poking through. But I also don't feel like my skin looks like flat and cakey and chalky, which sometimes the really heavy full, full coverage foundations can make you just feel heavy, like you're wearing a lot of makeup. And with this, I don't feel like I'm wearing any makeup at all, really. It just feels like nice and natural and just kind of feels like my skin. I think this will be really good for everyday wear. Um, like I was saying before at the beginning of the video, I don't really have any lightweight foundations anymore. I mean, I have some that are really old, like I have the Chanel Vitamin Layer Aqua, but that bottle is like four years old and I really need to get rid of it. So I think this is kind of good for a new everyday, like medium coverage foundation. As far as my problem areas, so the first thing is my smile lines, and I don't think it caked into my smile lines really at all and I filmed five videos today four of which I filmed after the foundation was on my face so I was talking a lot I was smiling a lot for photos being very expressiony and it did not settle into my smile lines like even a little bit so that is amazing I mean you can see my smile lines when I talk but that's just because they're there but usually foundation will like cake into it and you can see a very distinct line even when I go like this and I don't see anything at all so that is like a huge plus in my book my chin line uh, it's a little bit caked up in there but honestly that is not bad at all I mean yeah no that's not bad at all. And then around my nose, it is a teeny tiny bit on the shiny side, but I don't feel like product is like pooling in there like some foundations can do. This side, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, this side is pooling up in there just a little bit more, but this side looks really good. I might have just put a little bit more on here. This is the side I used the brush on, so I might have not smoothed it out as much, but it really isn't that bad. And then as far as shine goes, you can see there's my forehead. And my cheeks have highlighter on it, of course, but that is what it looks like up close. Overall, two humongous thumbs up. I can't wait to wear this on a full day at work so I can see what it looks like when I wear it for like 16 hours. 
in a day, but without touching up, blotting, powdering, nothing. I didn't even go over with a beauty blender to like blend things out. Nothing. This is what my skin looks after eight looks like after eight hours. Oh my god, it is so late, and I really need to go to bed. Oh my god, I can't wait to take these lashes off. That is like what I oh. Anyways, I highly recommend. Like I said, I have oily skin and this is the first time a radiant foundation has worked for me. So I'm impressed. I'm very impressed, NARS. Check it out. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> if you guys have any other foundations that you'd like for me to test out, let me know in the comment section down below so that I can do that. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.